Good evening, I'm Paul Fraser and this is the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Royal Order 49 of 2017, reappointing two members of the Constitutional Court. The Royal Order stipulated the reappointment of Ali Abdullah Dawishan and Saeed Hassan Al Hayeki as members of the Constitutional Court for another term of five years. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received at Gudabiya Palace today a number of accredited ambassadors to the kingdom, senior officials and businessmen, in addition to journalists and scores of citizens. His Royal Highness commended the tremendous efforts exerted by the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, led by the custodian of the two holy mosques, in serving Hajj pilgrims, wishing the kingdom continued success in serving the Arab and Islamic nations. He voiced confidence in the ability of Gulf Cooperation Council countries' leaders to achieve progress and development for their nations and their peoples, highlighting the necessity of maintaining security and stability which would preserve efforts in comprehensive development. The Prime Minister confirmed the government's keenness to continue to follow up on the implementation of various development projects across the Kingdom to achieve the prosperity of the nation and its people. He hailed the national role of the private sector and its contributions in supporting the economy through investments in all fields, highlighting businessmen's role in strengthening the national economy. His Royal Highness said that what has been achieved in the Kingdom has opened more doors for development and reinforced the country's capability of dealing with all challenges with confidence and flexibility. He added the people of Bahrain are highly aware and educated, asserting that the country needs its people to contribute in economic and social development. He expressed appreciation for the significant role played by journalists and media personnel in enlightening public opinion through its professional and objective views.
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and Chairman of the Bahrain Economic Development Board, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, chaired the EDB's board meeting today at the organisation's headquarters in Bahrain Bay. His Royal Highness highlighted that advancing sustainable economic development and increasing Bahrain's global competitiveness are vital to facilitating direct investment and creating high-quality jobs for citizens. His Royal Highness also highlighted Bahrain's achievements in developing an attractive regulatory environment needed to encourage innovative and high-tech opportunities across the country, stressing that the introduction of a fintech regulatory sandbox will encourage the adoption of innovative financial solutions that reflect global trends. His Royal Highness went on to emphasise that these development efforts intended to prioritise the needs of citizens should continue at a swift pace in order to meet the expectations of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. During the meeting, the EDB's Chief Executive Khalid Al Rumehi gave a presentation which covered a wide range of achievements over the past year. These include significant direct investment worth over 124 million Bahraini dinars, that's 329 million US dollars. The CEO also highlighted that the 53 new international companies who have set up in the country will help create over 2,300 jobs. These figures reflect an outstanding year and demonstrate that economic development continues to gather pace. The presentation also covered EDB-led initiatives in collaboration with the private sector, which aims to bolster sustainable economic growth and increase direct investment. Emphasis was also placed on the EDB's role in advancing the Kingdom's diversification efforts, particularly non-oil sector growth, which now contributes to more than 80% of the national GDP and continued to see a 7.5% annual growth since the inception of the EDB in 2001. In addition, Al Romehi discussed the importance of strengthening Bahrain's position as a regional hub for fintech. He also noted the CDB's key role in developing the appropriate regulatory environment to support innovation in the financial sector. He highlighted that the EDB is currently developing a physical space for entrepreneurs and fintech companies from across the globe to test their innovative financial solutions. The space will provide entrepreneurs and fintech companies access to investors and the necessary technical support. Aramehi explained that the EDB, in cooperation with Bahrain Development Bank, is working on establishing a fund with 100 million US dollars in capital, aiming to encourage venture capital investments and to develop a sustainable environment for startups and innovation. Aramehi also noted the EDB's new collaborative initiative with the Information and e Government Authority, Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, and the Central Bank of Bahrain to consolidate Bahrain's foreign direct investment data, also known as FDI. This initiative aims to ensure the transparency of Bahrain's FDI figures when sharing with international bodies. Aramehi also highlighted the Kingdom's achievements in the 2017 World Investment Report issued by UNCTAD, which ranked Bahrain as 14th in the Middle East and North Africa. Bahrain's total FDI inflows were worth 282 million US dollars, while FDI outflows from the kingdom registered at 170 million US dollars. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, led the Bahraini team in the Ironman Championship in the American state of Chattanooga with the participation of 3,000 contestants from across the globe. The Bahraini team members participating alongside Sheikh Nasser are Spanish, Mikel Kalhora and Mohamed al as well as three contestants from the Kingdom who have participated individually in the race. The race comprised of three phases. The first is a 1.93 kilometre swimming course followed by a 90.1 kilometre cycling course and finally a 21.1 kilometre running course. Sheikh Nasser expressed pleasure with the successful participation and the outstanding performance of the Bahraini team which reflected their strategic preparations for the race. He commended the sportsmanship of the team members and their technical readiness.
He noted the fierce competition between the contestants and the difficulty of the race due to the nature of the area, adding that the Bahraini team was able to face all the challenges because of its proper training. His Highness hailed the positive results of the Bahraini women team that took part in the championship where all the team members successfully completed the race. As he met with the Bahraini women's team, His Highness said that the members showcased great skills and abilities, praising their good sportsmanship during the race. Sheikh Nasser was keen to receive the Triathlon World Champion winner of the Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Triple Crown Award and Bahraini team member Daniela Reeve at the finish line where the Swiss athlete managed to complete all the phases of the race in four hours and three minutes. His Highness also met with Bahrain's ambassador to the United States, Sheikh Abdullah bin Rashid Al Khalifa, who was present during the championship. The ambassador reviewed with His Highness the preparations of the Bahraini team and the stages of preparation for the World Championship. The parliamentary Thai delegation met at the Shura and Representatives Council to discuss ideas to enhance cooperation between Bahrain and Thailand. More now in this report with Yasmin Ibrahim. The Shura and the Representatives Council received a parliamentary Thai delegation headed by the chairman of the Bahrain-Thailand Parliamentary Friendship Committee today to boost and promote parliamentary diplomacy and bilateral relations. We are glad to receive uh, that uh, friendship committee between the uh, Kingdom of Bahrain and the uh, Republic of Thailand in Bahrain. And this is a very important visit to them because we exchange the ideas about the cooperation between two countries. Uh, we hope that visit will benefit uh, both of us and will uh, deep rooted the uh, relation more further for more uh, cooperation in uh, political and economical and other uh, uh, side of the cooperation. Bahrain and Thailand have discussed ideas and topics of enhancing bilateral cooperation in education, health and economic fields. They agreed to expand in areas of joint cooperation so as to achieve common interests and meet their friendly people's aspirations. We have uh, talking about the, uh, the collaboration between the Parliament of uh, Berlin and Parliament of, of, uh, Thai, of Thailand. And we have some uh, topic to discuss, uh, for example, uh, the topic of uh, how to develop the people who working in the parliament. Maybe uh, uh, Berlin would like to send some some uh, uh, people to to have the uh, training in Thailand and also the, the collaboration in, in uh, education. 
uh, we would like to, to have some exchange for students and researchers to, to, uh, between uh, Thailand and, and Berlin. The meeting paved the path for new horizons of cooperations to be created with the growing number of available opportunities between GCC countries and their East Asian counterparts, particularly Thailand, strengthening Bahraini-Thai relations at all levels. The visit is a stepping stone for both countries by enhancing the already existing partnership, creating new opportunities for further developments. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Yasmin Ibrahim. With the beginning of the new academic year 2017-2018, a number of senior officials from the Ministry of Education visited numerous schools to inspect the educational process. The officials met a number of members from administrative and educational authorities and listened to their suggestions on running schools optimally. The Minister of Education, Dr Majid bin Ali al Nuemi, gave a speech in which he affirmed the keenness of the Ministry on providing an environment that encourages students to learn. The minister added that the ministry provided all the facilities required for returning to school and fulfilled the school's requests and the human and technical needs. It also provided all the required preparations for development and training projects implemented by the ministry. A very good evening. You're watching the Business News in Bahrain International with me, Hiva Abdel Ghaffar. Bahrain Oche index closed today at 1,316.75 points, marking an increase of 1.2 points above the previous closing. The increase was due to the rise in the commercial bank sector, where investors mainly traded, representing 80% of the total value of traded shares. 73 equity transactions took place with a volume of 1,487,511, where 381,403 Bahraini dinars. Bahrain's real estate sector is witnessing a rapid expansion due to growth and demand for residential and retail development. The Bahrain Economic Development Board's economic quarterly report revealed growth in the sector, reaching 4.5% in the first quarter of 2017, contributing over $1.7 billion to the economy. Real estate transactions grew by 15.2% in the first quarter of 2017, reaching a total value of $770 million, an 8.1% jump year over year. The retail and hospitality sector also witnessed rapid growth, while the hotels and restaurants sector emerged as the fastest growing sector during the first quarter of this year, recording a 12.3% year-on-year real estate of expansion. The Central Bank of Bahrain has released a new Sharia Governance module, issued after extensive consultation with the industry and with the CB's Centralized Sharia Supervisory Board. It's likely to result in a shift in improving the Sharia compliance and governance standards among Islamic banks in Bahrain and shall set proper benchmarks for global Sharia governance practices. It's expected to serve as an example for the region and global Islamic banking market. The new regulations will be applicable from 30th of June 2018 on all Islamic retail and wholesale banks in Bahrain. Under Secretary for Industrial Affairs at the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Usama Al Arayid, affirmed the ministry's continued efforts to support emerging companies, especially in the ICT sector, and motivate more young people to set up their own businesses away from traditional jobs. This came during the patronage of the second edition of the Side Stars competition for small and medium enterprises in Amwaj Islands on behalf of the Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Zaid Al Zayani. Eleven of the best startup companies from the GCC were participating in the international competition, including six Bahraini companies. <laughs> 